Welcome to the continuation of Algebra Lesson 3, Word Problems with a Single Variable. We're still working with numbers. Here's another example. Oop, and this is example number two now. One number is five more than four times another. The larger number plus six times the smaller number is 55. Find the numbers. So again, starting out, um, one number is five more than the four times the other. That means the other is a small number. That's the large number. So let x equal the small number. And then the large number, according to the problem, is five more than four times the small number. So let um, four times x, so four times the small number, four times the small number, plus five. That must equal then the large number. Okay, so again, let x equal the small number, that's the other number they're talking about, and then the large number is four times the small number and five more. That's 4x plus 5. So now to figure out what the numbers are, they give us some more information. Now they tell us that the larger number plus six times the smaller number is 55. So it's a good, a good way to do that is to kind of write that out in English. So you could say the uh, larger number, so larger number, and added that to six times the smaller number, so plus six times the smaller number, so six times the smaller number, number, there we go, and we add it together, we should get 55. That's exactly what it says here, it says the larger number, right here, plus, right here, Six times the smaller number, six times the smaller number, that equals 55. Now, we define the smaller number by x, and we define the larger number by 4x plus 5. So we can say that 4x plus 5 plus six times the smaller number. Now, this may confuse us a little bit, so let me just write a dot. Six times the smaller number, we'll write it like that. So six times the smaller number, which is x, and that should be equal to 55. Now we can go ahead and solve this equation for x. Let's get rid of the brackets. We don't need them. So we can say 4x plus 5 plus 6x equals 55. Okay, now we uh, keep all the terms of the x's to one side, move everything else to the other side. So the plus 5 goes to the other side, and it becomes a negative 5. So we have 4x plus 6x is equal to 55 minus 5. And so we end up with 10x equals 50, and then we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the x, the tens cancel out, we have x equals 50 divided by 10, which is 5. So, going back up here, since x equals the small number, that's then equal to 5, and the larger number is 4 times x plus 5, so we can say that's equal to 4 times 5 plus 5, and we don't need parentheses around that one. And so that's equal to 20 plus 5, which is 25. So there's a large number, there's a small number, and sure enough, the large number is 5 more than 4 times the small number. So there we go. That's how you do that one. And if you'd like to see more examples, stay tuned for the next one.